So today we're going to be talking about the latest controversy on X. Today it's going to be coconuts. So it's supposedly the new racial slur, but this time the people calling racism is the right wing. Not the left wing, but the right wing. The left wing are using this term coconuts to refer to black or brown people that are acting white. Obviously the joke is coconuts kind of brown on the inside, on the outside, and they're white on the inside. So they're saying black people are acting white. Now obviously where the racism comes in is because they're, they're saying that as if it's a bad thing. They're using it in this insulting way. Yeah, you're a coconut, you're acting white. You're supposed to act black. And because of that, the police are now trying to arrest these people for, for hate crimes. So perhaps the police are working in their favor this time, who knows? But they're, they're doing more of the hate crime stuff for people that are putting coconuts dressed with little Palestine flags coming out of them. It is kind of funny, but it's, it actually goes way more into depth than this. So, I mean, is it right? Should the police be taking this down? Is this actually racism? I think it is. The left are saying this is the one time it's not racism. But there's actually two different types of racism. There's offensive racism, and then there's repressive racism. So offensive racism was traditionally the racism of the right wing. It's now, you know, hugely frowned upon. You can't just start insulting black people and calling them the N-word. That's no longer really accepted. You can't just assault and spit on black people or any immigrants. It's not accepted anymore. So that's just, that's kind of mostly out the window. But we've got this new type of racism called, which I call repressive racism. So it's basically repressive racism is you're holding someone back. You're trying to keep them down in their little, I don't know, they're, they're a little sad. They're, they're, all, they're all doing too good and you basically try to hold them down. So that's all I'm seeing. So that's, that, that's the second type of racism. And that's what it is here. That is what you're doing when you're calling these people coconuts. Because what they're doing is they're racial stereotyping. They're saying black people should act this way and white people should act this way. So essentially when black people are perhaps, maybe they're Christian, maybe they're, they're more properly spoken. Perhaps they dress more formally. Maybe they have a better job. They're doing well for themselves and they will get called a coconut. So I'm assuming if they're using this in, this, in, in an assaulting way, they're basically suggesting that black people should act the opposite of that. And I suppose that's kind of what they've been doing. There's this thing of black culture. Black culture, especially, especially in America, is, you know, more crime, more violence, more homelessness, more uh, taking drugs, more children in prison, more adults in prison. They are, they're shooting each other more than any other race are shooting each other. That is what black culture is in America. Uh, abandoning the family values. And what's funny is that this time the left, without seeming to know it, are actually ones enforcing these racial stereotypes. And we always get told that stereotypes are hateful. For example, gender stereotypes are misogynistic and racial stereotypes are racist and they're the exact ones doing the racial stere racial stereotyping. They're saying, they're actually, they're literally saying white people good, black people bad. White people are good. White people are dressing better, speaking more properly, doing better jobs, having families, and when black people then try and do those things, they get shamed, they get insulted by the slur of the coconut. It's as if they know it's bad. They've, they've acknowledged these stereotypes, they've acknowledged that black culture is bad, yet they're trying to keep black people doing the same things all over again, forever. So they're trying to keep black people down. So who's really the racist? Because it's clearly the left. It's essentially a non-forced way of oppressing them. We used to have laws where black people are segre segregated, black people are this, but now again, black people are still segregated, just societally. They're basically told, you act this way, that's wrong. We're gonna insult you. Uh, please act within these, you know, confineries. But then it doesn't actually help them whatsoever. It leads to worse life circumstances. I'm actually gonna read a comment from one of my uh, followers on X. I have a highly educated black, black American friend. Blacks don't like him talking to me and demand that we're not friends in our shared Christian faith and values. He can't speak correct English when talking to other black people because he's called a, uh, you guessed it, coconut black on the outside and white at heart. So that just sounds racist, racist to me. The second that he has a Christian faith, he's called a coconut, he's insulted, he's, he's thrown slurs at. So they're basically shaming people from getting themselves a better life. That sounds like the most repressive way, the re most repressive thing you could do to black people. So it's time we start to realize who the real racists are. It is the leftists. Of course, the police should not be you know, enforcing these hate crime laws and banning, putting coconuts down with their little Palestine flags. 
They shouldn't be taken off the street, fine. People should be allowed to say what they want to say. We're supposed to live in a free society, free speech, I get it. But let's just acknowledge the facts. It is racism and it is a racial slur. What I would suggest is that black people who, or any ethnic group that are non-white, should embrace this term. You can call yourself, just like black people, you know, in America, are all, always calling themselves the N-word. They've embraced that term. And now that term's almost came to play as the opposite of coconuts. It's just, yeah, we are in, you know, because we act this way. Perhaps black people should start embracing the term coconut. Perhaps more black people should act like coconuts, because coconuts end up having better, happier lives with better families, better life outcomes, and better life outcomes for their children.